Hey guys, do you know your carrier supported RCS messages or not to use it for iOS 18? In this video, I'll show you whether your carrier supports RCS service or not. The above video will help you to learn how to trigger an RCS message in iOS 18. Now, let's start to check the carrier. First of all, open the Settings app. Now scroll the screen to General. On this screen, click on the About tab. Now scroll to the SIM section or a specific name that you put for your dual SIM. In my case, I have a physical SIM section. In your case, it may be carrier name, like Verizon, T-Mobile, etc. Here you can see the network provider. Perhaps on your phone, it replaces the name carrier. So now I'm tapping on the network provider. I would like to be able to view the IMS status with the options for voice and SMS. This means my carrier doesn't support RCS message service. Sometimes the carrier offers RCS service, but the carrier update is pending, so it won't show the RCS option. Please update carrier settings. Wait for a prompt. If there is a carrier settings update available, a prompt will automatically appear within about 30 seconds asking if you want to update. Tap update if the prompt appears. It's also showing up in the Messages app text box, text message RCS, or text message SMS. Most new Apple features are available in the US only. If your carrier does support it, then it's just a matter of waiting. If your carrier supports RCS and you live outside the USA, please wait a few months for the feature to roll out in your country. More specifically, if you are registered for RCS, not just if the operator is supported, so friends, I hope this video found helpful for you. Thanks for watching.